Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. Today we're doing a little bit of an impromptu topic. This was not something I planned until the weather gods of Texas rained upon us the most freezing temperatures I've felt in a very long time. Those temperatures were 14 degrees a couple of nights in a row. And let me tell you, we did not know what to do with ourselves. Uh, yeah, us Texans have no freaking clue what to do when it's that cold out. So what do you do when it's that cold? Well, I drank a lot of red wine. I made a lot of soup in the slow cooker and I sprayed a fragrance I have not been able to wear at all, like since I got it because it wasn't cold enough ever. And so I'm really excited to share that with you guys today. I'm going to be sharing just two fragrances with you that I wore um, during our deep freeze of 2024 here in Texas. There's just two of them uh, because it only lasted for three days before the sun started to uh, come out again and yeah, the temperatures started to go back up. Um, I'm sure there's many more that I could add to this list, but these are two fragrances that I personally am not able to wear in my collection until it's under 30 degrees or maybe under 35, but one of them in particular, like it's got to be below freezing to wear this. So if you're interested in this topic, please keep watching. All right, you guys, the first fragrance we're going to talk about is one that I've talked about many times on this channel before. It's a beautiful fragrance. This is Winter Nights by Dacine. Look at that juice, you guys. Like, oh, it's beautiful. It does not stain, which is odd. Um, but you guys, oh, this, 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 this. If you like smoky pine foresty types of fragrances and you haven't smelled this yet, drop everything that you're doing and get your nose on this. It smells so good. It literally smells like Narnia. If you're walking through Narnia and someone has like a fire going nearby and you can smell all these beautiful coniferous trees and like the smell of the snow, if that makes sense. And this kind of smoky thing. And then maybe there's like, I don't know. So it's got like a little bit of an herbal component. I think there might be lavender in here. Maybe there's something that's giving it like somewhat of an herbal lavender kind of spa vibe, but this is just absolutely fantastic. It smells so good. It's the smell of Narnia. It's the smell of Christmas. It's the smell of snow on the ground. It's the smell of coziness. Like, ugh, yeah, just beautiful, like evergreen forest vibes. This is everything. So this as soon as it goes under 40 degrees, I pull this out and I start spraying. And as you can see, I've had this for a year. It doesn't get under 40 that often here, but as soon as it does, I'm like, oh, the weather's going to be so cold. I can't wait to, to wear winter nights. It's like a thing, right? So that's the very first one. And then the second one that I wanted to share with you guys, this is so exciting. This isn't like, I'm sure other people could wear this when it was like 40, 45, 50. For me, this is such a beast of a fragrance and the notes are so dark and heavy that for me, I could not wear this until a couple of nights ago when it was ridiculously cold. I just couldn't. And the name of this fragrance is Plum and Cognac by Scents of Wood. Now you guys, another like really pretty juice situation happening here. This fragrance is absolutely divine. Let me, I have like no, I have no real estate left. Guys, let me, I'm going to savor this because this is so good. This is a very, oh, in your face, rum, tobacco, cinnamon. It's so cinnamony. I'm not usually into cinnamon. It's a very like <laughs> fragrance. Like you cannot wear this when it's warm out. I mean, maybe you could if you're daring. There's also a little bit of like maybe a leather thing going on here. This is, yeah, leather. I'm smelling like straight up like horse saddle, which I was not getting. It's interesting. I sprayed this all over my sweater. I don't think I've sprayed this on skin yet. I'm getting a different vibe um, when I have it on skin. But this is so pretty, you guys. This is so sexy. It's so boozy. It's absolutely delicious. I'll put the notes up here for you. I don't know what they are off the top of my head, but I can tell you I'm very much getting very predominant cinnamon off the top with some rum, some tobacco, um, some leather or something similar. Oh, it's good, you guys. Very unisex, although I feel like this would be super, super, super sexy on like a rugged lumberjack man that's like, 
getting dressed up for something. Um, this is really, really good. There's also some like sweet, I mean, I guess there's probably plum in this, right? There's also something really sweet coming through. Um, there's probably a vanilla note. I think I'm getting vanilla. Uh, yeah, this is gorgeous, you guys. And this, it's not identical and it's not even really that similar to it. But I feel like if you like, is it Side Effect by Initio that has the rum note? I think it is. It's either Side Effect or Psychedelic Love. I always get them confused. Whichever one has the rum note, if you like that, I feel like you're going to really like this too. If you like Spiritus Double Vanille with that rum and vanilla, you're probably going to like this as well. Although this has like way more going on. It's more spicy and... um. Yeah, it's more, it's almost like animalic in an interesting way. But oh my God, you guys, like this. If you want to smell like a sex pot and it's like 10 degrees outside, this is your go to <laughs> uh, plum and cognac sense of wood. So, super short video for you guys today. I just wanted to, I, I just felt inspired to share that because I was like, I can't stop wearing both of these fragrances and I need to talk about it. So, Thank you guys so much for being here. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to hear in the comments as well, what's your favorite fragrance to wear when the temperature is really, really, really cold. <laughs> Let me know. I feel like we're not done with cold snaps here in Texas. So I'd love to be stocked up with some more cold weather fragrances. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.